Good morning. Welcome to Resurrection Lutheran Corporate Ministry on this Sunday. It's the fifth Sunday after Pentecost. I'm so glad you're able to join Tom and I as we begin our day. So let us begin. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Give glory to God, our light, and our life. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light, and our life. O come, let us worship him. Alleluia. Our psalm today is Psalm 19. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows his handiwork. One day tells its tale to another, and one night imparts knowledge to another. Although they have no works, words or our language and their voices are not heard, their sound is gone out into the lands, all the lands, and their message to the ends of the world. In the deep has he set a pavilion for the sun. It comes forth like a bridegroom out of its chamber. It rejoices like a champion to run its course. It goes forth from the uttermost edge of the heavens and runs about to the end of it again. Nothing is hidden from its burning heat. The law of the Lord is perfect and revi uh, re revives the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure and gives wisdom to the innocent. The statutes of the Lord are just and rejoice the heart. The commandment of the Lord is clear and gives light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean and endures forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, more than much fine gold, sweeter far than honey, than honey in the comb. But then uh, by them also is your servant enlightened and in keeping them, there is great reward. Who can tell how often he offends? Cleanse me from my secret faults. Above all, keep your servant from presumptuous sins. Let them not get dominion over me. Then shall I be whole and sound and innocent of the great offense. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you have filled the world with beauty. Open our eyes to see your gracious hand in all the works that rejoicing in your whole creation, we may learn to serve you with gladness for the sake of him through whom all things were made, your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Well, our first reading today comes from Numbers, the sixth chapter, beginning with verse 22. The Lord said to Moses, say to Aaron and his sons, thus you shall bless the people of Israel. You shall say to them, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. So shall they put my name upon the people of Israel and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. And our second reading comes from Acts, the 13th chapter, beginning with verse 1. Now in the church of Antioch, there were prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius, and Serene, uh, Serene and Manian, a member of the court of Herod, the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have uh, called them. Then after fasting and praying, they laid their hands on them and sent them off. So being sent out by the Holy Spirit, they went down to Seleucia, and from there they sailed to uh, Cyprus. When they arrived at, uh, at Salamis, they proclaimed the word of God in the synagogues of the Jews, and they had John to assist them. When they had gone through the whole island as far as Pamphus, they came upon a certain magician, a Jewish a false prophet named Bar-Jesus. He was with a uh, with a. Uh, Proconsul Sergius Paulus, a man of intelligence, who summoned Barnabas and Saul and sought to hear the word of God. But Elymas, the magician, for for they uh, for that is the meaning of the of his name, withstood them, 
seeking to turn away the proconsul from the faith. But Saul, who was also called Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked intently at him and said, You son of the devil, you enemy of all righteousness, full of all deceit and villainy, will you not uh, not stop making crooked at this straight paths to the Lord? And now behold, the hand of the Lord is upon you, and you shall be blind and unable to see the sun for a time. Immediately, uh, mist and darkness fell upon him, and he went about seeking people to lead him by the hand. Then the proconsul believed when he, when he saw what had occurred, for he was astonished at the teachings of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our Holy Gospel comes from St. Luke, the 12th chapter. Glory to you, Lord. O Lord. Peter said, Lord, are you telling this parable for us or for all? And the Lord said, who then is the faithful and wise steward whom his master will set, uh, set over his household to give them their portion of food in the proper time? Blessed is the servant whom the master, when he comes, will find him, in, uh, him find so doing. Truly I say to you, he will set him over all his possessions. But if that servant says to himself, my master is delayed in something and being to and begins to beat the men servants and the maid servants and to eat and drink and get drunk, the master of that servant will come on a day when he does not expect him and at an hour he does not know and will punish him and put him with the unfaithful. And that servant who knew his master's will but did not make ready or act accordingly to his will, shall receive a, a severe beating. But he who did not know and did this, did what deserved a beating shall, uh, shall receive whoop, if I can get the pages turned. shall receive light beating. Everyone to whom much is given of him will much be required. And of him to whom men commit much they demand, they will demand the more. The gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of all that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, will call, be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray. Father, you call your children to walk in the light of Christ. Free us from darkness and keep us in the radiance of your truth. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. O Lord Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. And all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining Tom and I on this Sunday morning, the fifth Sunday after Pentecost. I hope you have a safe and blessed day and hope to see you tomorrow as well. God bless you. Bye-bye.